So there's three things I was going to mention, just kind of a note to self here. I was kind of um, uh, coming up with a little list of uh, three things here. And um, yeah, I think <clears throat> the main point uh, that I'm making for myself is like mind coherency. Um, yeah, so I've got three points here. Uh, first one is simple solutions for my, uh, excuse me, simple solutions for messed up problems. And then the last one is uh, why I'm not a messiah, why I'm not a messiah, why I don't think that I'm a messiah. Yeah, why I'm not, you know. Uh, yeah, so, but those are the three things, but there was a middle thing, there was a, there was a, a second point, and I forgot the second point. So now I realize that the second point is actually my, what is my current level of uh, mind coherency. And I'm going to remember that what the second thing was supposed to be later, and then it'll be like, ha ha ha, it'll be funny. You know, I'll be like, ah, that, that was, that was the second thing, you know. So that's just like, because I'm kind of, I guess, preparing to perhaps write a book maybe, or a training manual. So I'm just like, I have to be able to, you know, have an organized way of thinking. So that's one thing that I'm actually kind of working on. How to have an organized way of thinking, how to identify, you know, your different, um, the different areas of your brain that are being used, you know, for what, how, how to distinguish between them. It's just like when you, um, you know, if you want to do a five punch combo and you want to do it really well, Then you have to know which is the which muscle when to tense the muscles and when to relax the muscles. You know, you need to be you need to be very very aware and which which side is full, which side is empty. You know, you have to distinguish these like yin and yang. And it's the same when you are training your mind to be more uh, coherent. You have to distinguish what which is the <clears throat> first off. You know, which is the uh, logical side and which is the creative, um, you know, side. Which is the memory, which is the, which is the creativity, you know. When you get better at this, then you're going to see that when people are using different parts of their brain, there's going to be corresponding uh, body language, actually. And then if you get good at that, you can, you can read people uh, pretty, pretty well. But if, you know, once people get past a certain level of uh, self-awareness, then it's it starts you know they gain control and they can, they can fool you they can even make you think that you know you are reading them when actually they are manipulating you uh, it's very interesting dynamics uh in this kind of training oh we're getting serious i'm going to put my my beret on because i'm getting so serious so space commander serious right here you know <clears throat> yeah um, so those are the three points here uh, that I'm just making to myself. Probably going to make a training manual at some point. But um, yeah, three things that I, I think that I, I quite like to talk about. Um, you know, which is uh, firstly that there are very simple solutions to uh, some of the very very messed up. Damn, I can't get these things up. I think this hat is spray is. Um, I'm pretty sure these things are actually supposed to be, should be able to clip them inside the beret somehow, because anyway, when I was doing my army training in Denmark, they said that um, it's only if it's to respect someone that has close to you that has passed away, and then you let these things hang loose, but normally you tie them inside, I don't know, is it like that in other countries, but that's how I was, that's how I, that's how my training was in, um, in Denmark. <clears throat> Yeah, so yeah, these simple things, um, simple solutions for very, very messed up problems, you know, like things seem very complicated, it seems very messed up, but actually we just have, can have some very, very simple solutions if we just start from, you know, we just take a step back and we start from the very basics and we look at things, we just observe things and, you know, ask what's the solution and we'll know the solution. Very simple problems, excuse me, solutions for very very big complex seemingly messed up problems and um, yeah current level of mind coherency so there needs to be a way to to uh, to to 
grade people, you know, just like we have uh, normally in high school and kindergarten, we have we have great grading system like first grade, second grade, third grade, you know, ninth grade, and and um, you know then what course you did at university and, and all this stuff, and it gives you a profile. So um, you know, generally out there in, in space and the space economy uh, out there between economy between worlds. Um, you know, you need some kind of uh, a profile that shows not what your certificate, this, that thing is, but it shows the level of coherency of your mind and, you know, how, what, what, your, what your specific aptitudes are, you know, and what, what level you are, what your, ex how, how you generally, um, you know, how much of it actually shows up when you are confronted in situations, how, how sturdy is it, you know. You have a big profile like this that will be part of your like CV actually if you want if you want to do some work some work out there you know in space if you want to take part in this uh, big space economy um, out there and then yeah the last thing I was point I had there is like why I am not why I am not some sort of a messiah you know uh, everyone has the ability to use their you know third eye we all do it it's very it's very natural and when you have that you know you can, it's very easy actually to to just ask questions and and uh, you know envisage and you'll be given the answer you will receive it if you're open to receive it then you will already know the answer um, of course it gets more sophisticated than that you don't just get some you know uh, omnipotent God consciousness and even then there's different levels of omnipotence you know, there's, there's different levels. Like I have a few friends that have some Kundalini, you know, uh, sensitivity and they have, they have a certain ethereal organs that are working. They can use their third eye. They can, they have, um, you know, em, they have empathic uh, abilities, you know, some of them even physical abilities, you know. Um, and they're, they're just normal people. They're so normal. Um, so it's, it's really everyone, you know. Um, anyone can manifest, uh, you know, their ideal uh, life. You know, anyone can do that, and that's that's all I'm attempting to do. And that's that's that simple. You know, I'm not claiming that I'm, uh, you know, someone from the secret space program. Although it kind of feels like there was there was something, you know, something somewhere along my, you know, current life that happened but I don't know I don't have any I have no nothing no recollection of the, of anything you know but um, it's possible but I guess I kind of doubt it I have very little no, um, feeling of that to be quite honest you know although I can envisage, envisage things you know I can use my current level my current mind coherency to envisage and see you know, solutions to certain problems and to see, you know, uh, to, to, to simulate certain events transpiring, you know. Uh, but I can't quite see things like directly how they will happen or, you know, but pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah. And then it's also, you know, manifestation is the same thing. We're just applying energy, you're applying certain. A uh, certain uh, awareness, um, you know, to that, and you manifest your goals, you know. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, I should, I should close up. Commander, it's closing out.